I spent way too long trying to get this to line up and it's not lining up. It's not going to work. The one has a gap in it, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Nothing to worry about here. Video two, graphing with points. So just going to basically uh, do a couple examples. Show this off. Example number three we're up to now for this section is going to be a graph y equals 2x minus 4 by plotting points. All right, so all we're going to do is plot points on the graph. And uh, hopefully they're going to form something. I don't want to spoil it for you, okay? No, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but it's going to hopefully make something. So let's uh, get our coordinate plane here. Hold on, hold on. We're going to make our coordinate plane straight. Like so. And so we need points on this. So if you're good with lines, you might be able to look at this equation and say this is a line with slope 2 and y intercept negative 4. That would be great. You do that, you're good to go, go for it. But maybe you don't know that this is a line or maybe you're a little rusty on your slope. So you can make a little table. Make a little table of the x's and the y's. And then this, <laughs> this is certainly not straight, but that's okay. And just plug in some points here, okay? So for example, when x is 0, what is y? We can just pick random things for x and see what happens. So if x is 0, what is y? So you just plug it in. When x is 0, y is 2 times 0 minus 4. You can use a calculator, you can simplify it on your own, but eventually you're going to get that y is equal to 4. And then you continue on this procedure, right? If x is equal to maybe 1, what is y going to be? Well, it's going to be 2 times 1 minus 4. Simplify that out. You're going to get negative. Wait, hold on. There's a <laughs> little something something happened here. Uh, the first one should have been negative 4. I was like, this is looking a little weird. This makes a little bit more sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't need a math degree to figure out that that should be a negative four, but uh, apparently even with one, it can be hard. And then you can keep on going, do the same thing for two. You're going to get zero. Do the same thing for three. You're going to get positive two and so on. And you can just plug in as many points as you want until hopefully if you plot all of these, you get a good idea of what it looks like. So let's plot these points. All right, this first one, that's the point zero, comma negative four. We don't often write it this way, but that is what it is. So 0 right and then 4 down. Next point is 1 comma negative 2 which is 1 right and 2 down. Next is 2 comma 0 that's 2 to the right and nothing down. And then 3 comma 2 is 3 right and 2 up. And you can see that there's a bit of a pattern here. In fact, we could plug in more points and more points, and if we did more points, we'd get one up here, we'd get one up here, we could even go in the other direction, right, and get them all going down this way. We could plug in as many points as we want, and all of these points are going to lie on the same line, okay? Um, and that's another way of graphing a line, okay? Maybe it looks something like this, and then it extends in every direction. So we're going to draw arrows. And there we go. That is the graphed function by plugging in points. And then we're going to do one more. This next one's not going to be a line. And this next one is actually going to get a little into some of the things that we're going to talk about in a couple chapters. Let's do example four. So example four is going to be very similar. Graph y equals... 1 half x squared, whew, that poor x, 1 half x squared minus 3 by plotting points. This one's going to be a little bit more annoying. We're going to need a lot more points to graph this one. But you might say, this problem is terrible. I hope we never have to do it again. Well, we are going to do it again when we talk about function transformations, but eventually in this class, we're going to get the tools to make this problem, example 4, magically easy okay so the magic of mathematics to make your life easier is coming 
But in the meantime, this is one way that you can graph a function like this. All right, so uh, let's have our axes over here this time. And then maybe kind of like this. That's too big. We don't need that big, but whatever. And then we're going to plot some, we're going to plug in some points. So we make our table here, our table of X and Y. Ooh, that was kind of, that was kind of close, wasn't it? That was kind of good. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll extend it a little bit and let's just plug in a bunch of points. We're going to start at zero. I love starting at zero and then we're going to go in both directions. So if we plug in zero, if we plug zero into this equation up here, what happens? Well, you just, y is equal to one half. Be very careful with your order of operations. One half times zero squared minus three. You plug that into a calculator or do it out on your own. Uh, maybe, maybe you want to pause it. Ooh, that's a good idea. But you're going to get negative three. What I was going to say is it would be a very good idea, very good practice, if you pause the video right now, plug in a bunch of your own points and see if you get the same things that I'm getting. Hopefully, yes. All right, uh, that would be a very good idea. You can pause the video and then either watch it or skip forward to see whether we have the same stuff. So do that now. All right, and then you proceed in the same way. You plug in one, when you plug in one, you're going to get one half minus three. It's going to be negative 2.5. You plug in two, you're going to get one half times four is two. Minus three is should get negative one. And plug in another one, three. One half times nine is four and a half. You're going to get one and a half here. Again, I expect you to write this out or use your calculator. You don't have to do it in your head. In fact, it's probably a good idea to not do it in your head. And if you keep on going in the other direction now, let's go to the left. Let's go to negative one. You square that out and do that. Be very careful when you're typing this into your calculator. For negative one, you need to type y equals one half times negative one squared minus three. These parentheses here, these parentheses are important. Otherwise, you're going to get the wrong answer. All right, so watch out for that. I can't draw an A. It looks like an R. Important. Important. It's getting too small. I'm running out of room. All right, and then you do the same thing. You're actually going to get the same thing on the left as you are on the right. We'll eventually call that an even function. All right, and now you can plot these points. 0, comma, negative 3. 1 comma negative 2.5, 2 comma negative 1, 3 comma 1.5. Again, 1 1.5 is just 1 and a half. It's between 1 and 2. And you can do it on the opposite side as well with those points you could have also found. But you're going to get some that looks pretty symmetric. And then it'll look something like this. You've got a parabola on our hands. And again, write those arrows, and that's the function. And there we go. That's graphing with points.